Nemandi Sama Kalima is here. Today I am interviewing a friend. <laughs> because, I mean, um, Keys and I, we sat down and we thought, hold on. Do we bring Joe or do we bring the force behind Joe? Because you know how it is every time um, an international artist comes here. We run and we make things happen. Some of them even disrespect us. But we thought the best thing to do to end this beautiful month of women is let's celebrate this force that is Mandisa Makalima. Welcome to the show, friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you are so brave. And you don't think so, right? I don't think so. And every no. time I tell you, you don't think so. No. I don't think I'm brave. Okay. You brought, and I, I obviously I'll mention the, the recent ones yeah. because I, I think it's quick for people to, to, to chalk their memories. Anthony Hamilton is definitely by far one of the best, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you had two nights all sold, sold out. Sold out. And they were actually sold out two weeks before he even arrived in the country. Yes. Yes. And... Where we were sitting, we were thinking, can he feel it? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We were worried. Can and Anthony... you're the first person that normally uh, panics. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. And I was panicking because I felt, can he really, you know, f fill up uh, uh, the, the, the sun dome? And he did, two nights. Mm -hmm. Eric Benet came through. Mm. Now, Joe, before, I mean, it was sold out by Tuesday, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think the poster. I saw the poster coming out on Tuesday saying, "Sold out. Don't even bother." Aksana now, and it's one night only. only. Yes. What made you go into that space? Okay, I've been working with different promoters in the past okay. that would bring international artists. Yes. And when Anthony came to South Africa first time, I was there. Okay. When Kenny came, I was there. So I've been working doing PR and marketing. Yes. So I learned the game and I knew that when there's a gap, this is what I need to do. Uh, one person might be thinking, if she loses 1.8 million, um, how much is she making? Let's say she makes 1.8 million. But that 1.8 million must stretch you for a, a good year or two, right? Mm -hmm. Because that's what it means mm -hmm. uh, for you to be in to be sustainable. And sometimes you don't even use that money because you must then save it for the next event. Mm -hmm. So, how we enjoy when? One of the things that I've learned is that you can't do this on your own. Hmm. You need support, you know? And I know sometimes we knock at doors and people, they make promises oh. and they don't deliver. And I know certain promoters that will be like, okay, this department is giving me money. And they will book an artist thinking that they will get the money. And when the money is not transferred into their account, it's an issue. And it will appear as if they don't know what they're doing. But yet they've been let down by different companies where they have promised that they will deliver and they don't deliver. So with me, maybe I've been lucky enough because I have built this working relationship. And I'll make an example, Anthony Hamilton, Last year, December, he forgot his luggage at Westcliff Hotel. Mm. And they said, take a flight, go to the US and bring my bag. I'm like, no, I can't. And they were like, when can you come? And I'm like, I have a gig in, in April because mm. we're doing Eric Benet. Yeah, they were like, yeah. can you then come afterwards? I said, yeah, they were like, so in other words, they insisted on you being there. Yeah. You being the one. So I was trying, the I was trying to avoid that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I was trying to get my sister Felix to go. Yes. And then I said, on one condition, I get to come around the time where Anthony is doing a lot of shows yeah. and I get to be introduced to different promoters and different managers. And then, cause I want them to understand that rent against the dollar. Yeah. You guys have got these demands. Yeah. And in the US, you're not getting paid the kind of money that you get paid when you get here. Yeah. And the fact that you need to lower your standards a little bit. Mm -hmm. And there's that mentality where Americans think in South Africa, we loaded, we've got a lot of money. And people are like, no, we don't want to go up there. We want to come to South Africa because everybody speaks highly 
about South Africa. Everybody talks about the hospitality mm -hmm. about South Africa. That's who we are as a people. Anthony Hamilton, it? sometimes he will cry and say, I've been around the world, but this country, it's like I was born there. And I'm like, yeah, you were born in Dini. Yes, <laughs> Time is not on our side. Thank you so much for being here. Well done. Keep doing what you do. Thank you for having me. You make it look easy. It's not. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Keep shining, Mandisa. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mandisa Makalima. That's the story you need to learn from. You need to keep hearing. Because I think as a modern African woman, she's definitely shining a light in terms of how you can make it happen. God bless you. Thank you.